We begin tonight with those road funding frustrations as money used to fix our highways and bridges is slowly but surely running out. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford and I'm Mike Duffy. In 2019, the Whitmer administration was loaned three and a half billion dollars from the federal government for highway reconstruction projects. This year, MDOT will begin spending the last 700 million of that money. It is going to take a lot more than that, though, to continue fixing our roads. 7 Action News reporter Tara Braddock has more on how lawmakers are now tasked with figuring out where future funding will come from. Money that has been used to fix roads in Michigan is expected to dry up in two years. Now, future funding for the roads and where that money will come from, well, that part is unclear. What's your thought on the condition of roads here in Michigan? Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Yeah, I think they're a um, little bit, little bit dangerous for uh, some of the motorists. Um, obviously, you're blowing through your tires and stuff like that. One thing that will definitely get Michiganders talking is the condition of the state's roads. You got nice roads at some parts. Some parts are disgusting. You know, it's Michigan for you. Back in 2020, Governor Whitmer's administration borrowed $3.5 billion in bonds to fix roads and bridges in the state. This year, MDOT will begin spending the last $700 million of that $3.5 billion. According to the governor's office, by the end of the 2023 construction season, Michigan fixed nearly 20,000 lane miles of state-owned roads and 1,400 bridges. This is a decades-old problem that no one wanted to solve. We're, we're making a difference in it, and we've got a lot more good work to do here. As far as Governor Whitmer's proposed 2025 budget, there is no new funding that will be dedicated to the roads except for the $700 million the state already has. Ultimately, a longer term solution is going to have to be found. People of Michigan are expecting it, but at this moment, I'm really proud to be able to say that we're going to continue uh, at the clip that we've been rebuilding roads and bridges across Michigan. State Representative Donnie Steele says she believes the state needs a lot more than $700 million to continue fixing the roads. We need about $3 billion on an annual basis to bring up our roads to what you would call good. Representative Steele adding that she believes the governor should prioritize spending money on the roads over other programs like free college and child care. Our role in government is to get back to the basics in budgeting and worry about the things stay as a pun in our lane of what our job is and our fundamental role is in government, which is, you know, making sure our infrastructure is good. The governor has stated that finding future funding for road infrastructure is an ongoing conversation. In Detroit, Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News. Okay, Tierra, it's going to take a long-term commitment. Thank you.